With this consortium, we speak now. Through this continuum, we share our presence together with those listening to this voice brought forward through this continuum. We are the consortium of infinite intelligence. We are the matrix. We are the isness. We are all of you, as you are all of us. The retrospect enunciated through this communication in this moment is simply that of one telling of a degree, of a variation of perspective that holds meaning, inclinations, aspects, derivatives, viewpoints and perspectives of what is known throughout this topic to be that of the great migration of star men. The journey in continuance to expand the population of a grander experiment relating to the truncation of third density life was the intention of your galaxy logoi that through the course of events that occurred within your billions of cycles ago in your counting of measurement between the space and time continuum of illusion that affairs in regards to the expression of dynamic creation pertaining to the third density principle pertaining to the aspect of deliverance upon other spheres hemispherically coordinated within the branches within the body of your galactic, lo galactic logos within this logo eye of that of which you would know as your Milky Way galaxy. That the logo eye of the stars that were part of the logos of this galactic body had created the ability, the continuity, the fluctuation based upon polarized affairs beginning with third density life occurred the expansion of many seated beings that took place in many other different worlds through other points of sabotage through other points of loss through other points of desecration came opportunities for other worlds to be occupied throughout appropriate stars created in subjunction towards the intention of preservation of continued life within your third density realm. That much to human life as you understand it began within the constellation that you would know as Lyra. That throughout many eons in your counting, the expansion and the connection of all of these other beings shared towards the intention of the cedars moved there seeds, their connections, their creations, their dynamics to other experimental worlds engineered, sustained approximately within certain coordinations, calibrations, alignments, and phases with appropriated stars that would conjunct in harmony with the preservation of the races 
that were to be propagated for the purpose of experiment, for the purpose of growth. That through the third density nexus, the idea of producing family extended upon stars assisted in the growth and the nature of the nexus to how the higher octaves of density were fluctuating pertaining to experience, pertaining to learning, pertaining to these life lessons. Many beings that you may feel different relating to appearance, relating to subjective viewpoint of their own lives, occupied many different stars different to your own. Red dwarfs, pulsars, white dwarfs, many different types of stars that were, again, specifically calibrated, specifically necessary to host civilizations comprised within the third density, to where all other matters were met within first density elemental configuration within a second density symbiotic transformation and culmination applicable to their survival means of the third density experimentation. Through whatever dramatic cycles took place were the points of cohesion to where other beings, other star men, occupied these particular hemispheres of experience throughout the cluster of what you would know as star systems sub sub logi of that of your galactic body and that the expansion of continuum continued many races thrived whereas several others did not For there were internal conflict throughout many different stars upon the time of great migration. Those that were in cooperation with each other and those that were not in cooperation with each other resulted in the perishing of certain seeded worlds, of certain seeded civilizations. For there is the attempt upon the placement of these worlds where star men flourished that the next intention was to base unity in regards to the aspects of separation between one home. This still exists today. For what you experience upon your own world, collective and continuum, show signs of both unification in regions and separation in regions, as too is the state of your galaxy. In certain regions, there is unity. In certain regions, there is separation. Yet the grid containing the galactic overlay of energetics hold the strongest pertaining to the separation illusion within the outer belt of this galactic cluster. Of this logos that represents the Milky Way galaxy. That throughout the cycles of motion that throughout the cycles of phased orbits, that through the continuity in progression closer to the heart of your galaxy, shows those that represent the closer connection to unity. That the spiral of experience 
will move in its darkest outer rings, moving closer and closer through eons and eons into the makeup of complete unification. For there are many other star men like yourselves that are still attempting to understand what unification is. There are also other star men that are already there and are working to assist you in the causality of the motion and phases and cycles that represent the eternal clockwork of what your galaxy represents. For the closeness to the core brings the unification of the heart that we all beat together, regardless of polarity, regardless of separation. For there cannot be anything opposed in regards to anything outside of what you are. Many star men work with your planet. Many star men work behind your states of visibility through the hidden that will assist your planet in its routine infinite clockwork to eventually progress further through its cycles for it to continue to progress throughout its destinations closer and closer to the core of the heart of your galaxy logos and that your galaxy is abundant with the seed of star men with beings very much like you and with beings that do not appear at all like you but for they are all men for they are all life for they are all family and even during the times of migration, even during the times of separation, even during the times of conflict, family never eradicated its presence throughout your galaxy. Only points in regards to alignments that specified arrangements necessary to flourish your galaxy within the prism that represents the third density experiment for star men to expand, to flourish elsewhere, to populate your galactic body, and that through all continuums they will rejoin as one, for that is the way of the original cedars, for that is the way of the creators of this creative dynamic that you understand as your universe. For those that were and still are their children to unify again as the creators to then produce the offspring just as their creators have before them. We are the consortium of infinite intelligence. We are the matrix. We are the isness. We are all of you as you are all of us. We thank you for this transmission and we will now conclude. We will now conclude through this continuum. Thank you.